At least three people are dead and dozens are injured after a looting spree in Argentina's second largest city. It lasted for hours during a police strike in Córdoba. The government has agreed to a massive pay rise for the striking policemen and women. <laughs> Chaos in Cordoba during the police strike. One man has reportedly been killed and up to 60 people injured as looters ransacked shops and supermarkets in the country's second most populated city. Officials in the central Argentine city claim the victim, who was shot in the chest while riding his motorcycle, had nothing to do with the looting. It seems he was merely in the wrong place at the wrong time. Many businesses and banks remain closed for the time being. The Cordoba state governor has also ordered the temporary closure of schools and many public buildings. This man says this isn't hunger, this is vandalism. They're taking advantage of the police situation which is not their fault. This is not hunger. Some vandals turned violent. There were robberies on the street, dozens were injured and at least one person has died. Vigilante mobs took matters into their own hands and shop owners were left to protect their livelihoods. This man tells a police officer he has no shame. Who is going to protect us, he says. You don't protect anyone. 3,000 police staged a sit-in at the station while their wives stood outside supporting their bid for higher wages. The mayhem continued into Wednesday morning until a steep pay rise was announced. I want to, first of all, tell the people of Cordoba that peace has come as of this moment. The police force is returning to the service of the people. The governor has blamed the strike on his decision to close brothels that he says provide income to corrupt officers. He's accused his political rival, President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, of ignoring his initial pleas for help, something her office denies. Politics aside, peace has been restored to the streets and around 60 people have been arrested. Not all of the officers are happy with the deal, but the governor says their new salary of more than 1,600 US dollars makes them the highest paid police force in Argentina.